got another way to uh, read and write and mount the uh, external USB NTFS hard drive. So this is my passport, okay? So this one is the NTFS file system. So normally in Big Sur, we cannot, we cannot put it in, all right? It's not writable. So if we go to the GitHub and uh, Chrome it, and this is the website. So what we need to do, and I wrote it in my uh, website. So what we need to do is to install brew.sh first, right? So we need to copy this, you copy this one right here. And then you install it using terminal, okay? After you install this one, you're gonna do all three lines here. So we're gonna do brew tab, grommet, home, brew, fuse. But we also have to install the, the Mac OS fuse. So we need to install this one. System preference, you will see the Mac fuse here. But we need to do these three lines here, brew, tab, grommet, home, brew, fuse. And then we're going to install brew install dash dash cast Mac fuse. And then we're going to do brew install NTFS 3G Mac, not 3G. All right. So when we've done this, then we have to turn on show and hide files. And we're going to show all the files. And when we go here to our boot disk, you go to USR, you go to local, you go to seller, and you will see NTFS 3G Mac. Inside here, you have a folder called 2021.8.22. So what you do is you copy this one, and you bring it, and then you paste it here. All right, so now you have a folder, this one. But see, I already have this folder, but I renamed this one to NTFS. So this is exactly the same. And inside here, the bin, we need this NTFS 3G. So how are we gonna do this one? When you have it in here already, then you plug in my passport, right? I'm going to eject it. Now first, we need to find out, we use this utility list. So now here is a disk 3 S1. So what we need to do is to unmount this one first. And then we're going to do sudo ntfs, which is the folder we renamed inside as the bin and then this one is the NTFS 3G and then we're going to mount this disk 3 S1 to a volume NTFS all right so now we're going to do this so what it's going to do is it's going to mount this one into a volume now it came up see this so inside here now, we can read or write to it. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to plug in my phone, my iPhone, the app called Image Capture. On Big Sur, with the new software, they don't let you to use the photos anymore because they want you to put it all on the um, iCloud. My, uh, image capture see all of the photos so now look at this so I'm gonna import it into a family 2020 2020 for instance all right so let's go down here now if you look we can also start to put things in here already see that so now you can do it you can write to it so let's go to 20. So I'm going to do the July 20. So let's do this. 2020, July. So we're going to go in here. 
and it's also see it as a Mac fuse volume zero see that so we're gonna go to 2020 and we go to 2007 let me select that all right so now we're gonna use July go all the way up okay so we're gonna go all the way up here and we're gonna download so it's gonna go in here so after it's done we should be able to see it and this one is my uh, Hackintosh so I have a Windows 10 NVMe which I can't read or write to it so if you want to do this one we have to eject it first then when we look in here this utility so it's not mounted we have to do this utility list to see the NVMe Win 10 NVMe right here so it this zero S3 and this is a disk 03 and we're gonna call it volume NTFS so now it mount this one into an NTFS read writable so this one is actually my win 10 now I can read write to it see that if I want to plug in another external NTFS USB hard drive so first I have to unmount it so now I'm going to do this utility to see which disk it is so this one is NTFS basic data so disk 3 S3 so I'm going to change this one to disk 3 S3 but the volume has to be different so I'm going to do it NTFS 1 so now I have volume 1 which is my external USB now this one I can also read or write to it now if I want to put another one in and this one I have to make it a 2 so volume 2 okay so it's going to fix it and it's going to mount it so this one right here is my two terabyte so now I can just drag stuff between them okay